Don't, don't come in. Don't come in. Dad, it's me. I've got your dinner. No, no. It took a lot of effort to make this. Are you gonna have it? Or did you come here just to be a burden? Look, we don't need to talk or anything. No, 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 don't, don't. <sighs> now, quickly. Quickly. You look perfect. How depressing. Good evening, Cody. Ready when you are. You start. I'm just going to turn my camera off a sec. The God's Hand Archipelago boasts some of the most beautiful sites in the North Pacific Ocean. Perhaps none more so than its largest island, Nepus. However, despite this, there is very little development on the island and no tourism. The Neem Bato Hotel Group, in conjunction with Quinton Engineering, is proposing the development of the Iowa Well Cove site into a luxury 35-room hotel, spa, and scuba diving complex. And services de plongée with masks and scaphandres. 
Our consultation period has already begun, and we know that you will be as committed as we are to bringing this project to fruition with the minimum disruption to the natural landscape and wildlife of this beautiful bay. Our preliminary planning application is before the God's Hand Island Council, and we hope that you will join us in making our proposition the best it can be for the local economy and employment prospects, so that construction can begin early next year, ready to open our doors the following year. Et une promesse de création d'emplois pour que les travaux puissent commencer au début de l'année prochaine, et que ce nouveau complexe ouvre ses portes l'année suivante. We hope to. I will welcome you soon. Le chef de projet joue sur le nom de la crique Iwawel et le mot anglais « welcome » qui signifie « bienvenue » pour souligner son désir de vous souhaiter la bienvenue très bientôt au sein de l'hôtel. Right, uh, let's have a little look then, shall we uh, Well, I forgot the word for scuba diving. And... Yeah, because that's a word you hear every day. I tried to keep up the pace, but I wasn't fast enough. He was talking really fast. Look, there was a golden half second there where I really thought you had it. You were getting the gist across, nice, simple and quick. And then you went straight back to trying to get it exactly right. Can we do another one? What? No. Oh, please, your advice is so valuable to me. I know I can do better. You know what I think? I think you should cut yourself a break. This is interpreting, not translation. You don't have to be word fucking perfect. There is... There isn't... There isn't time. Speaking of which... What was that? N nothing. Okay, uh, give me 15 minutes to clear some emails, then uh, let's get this ship started. What's the matter? I'm just down the hall trying to be professional and you're banging on the walls. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. This is stupid. <sighs> Dad, come on. This is ridiculous. You need to come out. Well, I can't. I, I, I don't want to put you and the baby in danger. Then why did you come here? Because Pierce has gone off to that place. Le pouce, il a même pas été encore sur l'île. Uh, le pouce, he's not even been on the island yet. But when he does, he will come back with them, and we have got to be ready. Dad, there is no curse. So, I'm just a crazy person, and is is that it? I don't think you're crazy. If you say they are evil spirits, then they must be there. Liar! I'm just worried it's getting worse. Oh, well, they must have heard about your fiancé's development. How is Pierce? He's fine. How are you? And the baby? Please don't change the subject. Fine. But you are right. They are getting stronger, and there was only so much that I can do to stop them. I want you to lock me in. What? I can't resist them for much longer, and God knows what happens when I'm asleep. I need you to lock me in. I don't want to hurt you. Fine. 
I'll lock you in. Good. I just hope it's enough. I need to go back to work. Are you translating to French or that Lapousse language? The fact that I speak canal makes me very employable. No. That language is dangerous and so is that island. I need this job, okay? For me. Well, I'll do what I can to keep him quiet. Thanks. Good night, Dad. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, sleep is the last thing I should be doing at night. Hey, gorgeous. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good? You mean Cody's not being a pain? Well, actually, she wants me to cut myself a break, so... Yeah, well, she'd be interpreting for the United Nations if she was so great. Don't worry about Cody. We both know you work best under pressure. Anything new with you? Uh, the investors want more site surveys that they don't want to pay for, and... The locals want us to leave, but they also want us to give them jobs. Mm, I'm sure you'll sort it all out. I absolutely will. Is your father still in our house? Yeah. Any better? Mm, not really. That security system's the best investment I ever made. Just keep feeding him his meds, okay? He'll be fine. It's not much longer now. I'll get this project sorted, and then the three of us will be out on the poos in no time. Well, my dad has vowed never to set foot on that island again. What? <laughs> no. The three of us. You, me, and our little IVF miracle in there. Oh. <laughs> you tell me you're still pregnant. Yes, we, of course. <laughs> the three of us. Uh... Laura Lynn, I have a treat for you. What, what is it? <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah, it's cute, but uh, don't you think it's a bit early to be buying clothes? No, why? Can we be serious for a moment? Do you think the rumors are true? The curse? No, oh, no way. Now, everything on the island's been smooth sailing. Yeah, I guess. I, mean, I know you do a lot with the local people because of your languages, but come on. Evil spirits protecting the plant life? <laughs> oh, I, I, I've got to go. Uh, uh. Take it easy, okay? That's our little prince in there, and I'll speak to you later. Love you. You're in demand tonight. Two calls. Both need someone who can speak Kanar. Perfect. I've got a call between two businessmen. Uh, someone called Teron. Uh -huh. uh, wants someone to authenticate a book before he buys it. And at the same time, I've got a kid who wants to speak to his mother. Um, I think they're estranged. 
He says he knows you. Max Pito? Oh, I know Max. I'm teaching him canard. I guess you want Max then. Sounds like the other one would be better for my career, no? Oh, I'll take Maxi's call. Good. I'll put you on. I'll be popping in and out to monitor, as usual. Remember, you don't need to be perfect. Hey, Laurelyn. They said you might not be available. Of course, Max. I'm always available for you. Oh. As your canard coming along. Um, I want to call me. Good. Very good. Yeah, I found a new way of practicing. <laughs> That's great, Max. Who are we calling this evening? My mum. I should warn you, she, um, when, when I was little, we just don't talk often. Okay. <clears throat> Bonjour, je m'appelle Lauraline et je suis interprète chez Glossa Lingua. Un de nos clients souhaiterait vous parler. Est-ce que vous acceptez l'appel Oui. Bonjour, maman. Max, comment vas-tu Ça va. Ah, ta, ta voix a mué. Tu as dû avoir beaucoup grandi depuis la dernière fois qu'on s'est vu. Sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Your voice sounds deeper. You must have grown up a lot since the last time I saw you. <laughs> well, it was a long time ago. Bah, c'était il y a longtemps. I'm 5'10 now. Je fais 5 pieds et 10 pouces maintenant. Ah bon? Ah, oh, okay. So, what have you been up to? Anything fun? I've done loads Alors, since we last spoke. I've uh, finished school, Moi, obviously, and I've started working, which is a bit boring et and, and doesn't pay well, but it's all cool. And I've started learning canard. Et j'ai commencé à apprendre le canard. Canard, la langue. Canard, the language. Mais pourquoi faire? Why would you want to learn that? T'habites à Londres. You live in London. It's our heritage. If we don't keep up those traditions, they'll die. On n'entretient pas ces traditions, elles mourront avec nous. Peut-être que ce serait mieux qu'elles mourent. Perhaps it dying might be for the best. Parlons d'autre chose. But let's speak about something else. You said you've been working. Hang on, I asked you first. Pas si vite, je t'ai demandé en premier. So, what have you been up to? Alors, qu'est-ce que tu fais toi en ce moment? Moi, je. Qu'est-ce que je fais? What I've been doing, I've been uh, sitting in my garden and going for lots of walks. I've been working, lots of working. But this is boring. What else? Oh, je lis un livre en ce moment. I've been reading a book. L'ombre maléfique. Tu connais? I've been reading a book, The Evil Shadow. Do you know it? No. Sorry. Non, désolé. Ah bon? Tant pis. Oh well, never mind. Hmm. I've been reading a book. Let me go fetch it. Ah, <coughs> je, je lis un livre en ce moment. Attends, je vais le chercher. I got it. Look. Voilà, regarde. It's a book. Written in canard. J'ai trouvé un livre écrit en canard. Well, I mean, some of it's in French. Comment c'est un livre d'histoire? What? How? Is it a history book? Enfin, une partie est écrite en français. I thought Laurelin could read it. Je sais pas. Je me suis dit que Laurelin. Max, notre langage n'est pas comme les langues occidentales. Elle est sacrée. I mean, you know, I can read the books. On ne l'utilise que pour les les cérémonies les plus importantes. Je sais pas. Je me suis dit que. Loraline pourrait lire et moi je pourrais lire les passages en canard. Kaye nem apum palusi leva mova druko tolo yoti dem dej rembola ti vet. Max, c'est très sérieux. Max, non, don't mess with this, please. Stop. Stop it. Loraline, I don't think I've. Is that. What is good? Stop it. Stop it! Stop it! ITG, follow. Oh, right. ITG, ITG, ITG. 
Qu'est-ce que tu as fait uh, What have you done Mom Mom Try and call her back yeah. You know what I thought she'd be proud You know that's our people Our culture She'll come round. You think? Yes. It was probably just very emotional for her speaking to you again. Anything else I can help you with this evening? Thank you. 
Traitor! It's Traitor! It's Traitor! Madame Dubois, je veux vous parler de mon père. Je ne sais pas vraiment comment vous aider, vous savez. Je suis à l'autre bout du monde. Oui, mais vous savez des choses sur ce livre. Et il me semble que vous connaissez mon père, Alexis Wilson. Mm. Je, je crois que vous avez travaillé ensemble sur un projet de construction en 1998. Je ne veux pas en parler. Il le faut. Il est malade. Après notre appel tout à l'heure, une ombre est apparue et il s'est mis à parler canard alors qu'il ne connaît même pas la langue. Mais si, si vous avez vu l'ombre, ça veut dire que vous l'avez aussi. J'ai quoi les, les esprits, les anciens, ils vous suivent. Et ça veut dire qu'ils suivent Max aussi. Comment est-ce que je peux m'en débarrasser Je ne sais pas. Quoi Je vous en supplie, pour Max. Pour Max mais vous demandez pour vous-même, pas pour Max. Je vous le demande pour mon père. Alexis a toujours été très bon avec moi. D'accord. Moi, j'ai dû abandonner mon fils à cause d'eux et peut-être on peut empêcher une autre famille d'être détruite. Donc, il va falloir que vous trouviez le livre et que vous le brûlez. Donc, cela devrait suffire à détruire les esprits qui en sont sortis. Merci. Mais comment est-ce que je récupère le livre Il faut que vous m'aidiez à récupérer le livre de Max. Quoi Hors de question. Non, notre dernier appel était un désastre. Raison de plus pour le rappeler. Il doit être en train de dormir. Peut-être, mais peut-être pas. On peut toujours essayer. Je vais essayer de le rappeler. Désolée de, de te réveiller, Max. Et Max, I'm sorry to wake you, and, and I'm sorry that I hung up on you earlier. But... You were being unreasonable. I'm being unreasonable? Are you serious? You woke me up to tell me that? No, 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 she didn't. She, she woke you up to ask you something. That's not better. No, Max, please. Okay, what is it? Max... Tu dois brûler le lit. Max, I need you. To burn the book. No, no way. Max! My dad will kill me. Mon père va me tuer. C'est un livre de famille qui nous It's a It's my family's volé. book. He stole it. Hein? Quoi? Max, prends le livre. Et s'il te cause quoi que ce Take soit, the book from him, and if he gives you any trouble, you sure. send him my way, I'll sort him out. Right, okay. Okay, d'accord. Well, I'll, I'll, um, I'll burn the book first thing in the morning. And... No, no, Max, it has to be now. It's the middle of the night now. He'll notice. Bring it to mine, okay? Bring it to mine, I'll burn it here. <laughs> Okay, right, well, it, it's gonna take me like an hour to get to you. Thank you. Au revoir, Mama. Oui, je, on s'appelle demain? Yes, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, right.
The book is on its way. Don't get it. Human destroyers. <laughs> what can you repeat? Perrier, uh, Perrier Kawa. <laughs> <laughs> Help us. Me? I'm not helping you. We are two. When you hold us. To this. You are our vessel. Bulao y Pilamenhenko. Parking Palusi and Charlie Protect the great trees, stop the human destroyers. Yes. You want me to stop peers and the development? In Hong Kong. You help us? No, I am not your vessel. Yatvit Niv. Bulawi Pilamenhenko. In Hong Kong. You will help us. Or we will end those loved by you. And hang Kodiju. What's happening? Don't worry, I've sorted it. Get some rest. Everything is going to be okay.
is it? What's going on? I need you to keep our family safe. Okay, of, of course. But what's wrong? Everything okay? I tell you, but I need you to believe me. Okay, I'll believe you. What's up? The repulse chaos is real. Laura Lynn? You said you'd believe me. Oh, come on. It's one thing, all this with the Islanders, but you two? I really don't need this. Maybe they have a point. <laughs> They've attacked Dad. They've attacked me. You need to give in on these pills. Just stop the project. You're the only one who can. You know, I knew working these night shifts was a bad idea while you were pregnant. What? You need to get some rest. No. You're being hysterical. I'll square it with Cody. No! I have to get back to a meeting. I'll have my sister come over and spend a couple nights with you. <gasps> Love you, babe. Get some rest. Max, put the books through the door. You haven't answered my question. D just give it to me. Can't I come in? Max, we're friends. I thought you trusted me. I can sort all of this out. I just need you to give me the book. Max? Hold on. <laughs> 